Imagine this. The year is 1905, and a prank war is brewing between two neighboring towns, Greensburg and Mount Pleasant in Pennsylvania. A rivalry had been simmering for years, and it was about to bubble over in a most unusual way. The folks of Mount Pleasant, in a stroke of genius, decided to use a giant wooden Santa Claus as their opening salvo. They perched it atop a local hill, positioning it so that its backside was facing Greensburg. The sight of a giant Santa Claus mooning them from a hilltop was definitely a sight to behold for the Greensburg residents, but they were not to be outdone. Their response was equally ingenious and hilarious. They fashioned a huge pair of red long johns and under the cover of darkness gave Santa a comical wardrobe malfunction. And that, my friends, was just the beginning. The prank war was far from over. As the years rolled on, the pranks became more outrageous, more inventive and more hilarious. The spirit of competition and camaraderie between Greensburg and Mount Pleasant only fueled the fire. Imagine walking down the aisle to a fake wedding, the bride and groom just two elaborately dressed townsfolk, the ceremony a ruse to trick the other town. Picture the confusion and laughter when a flag hidden with utmost care suddenly appears on a public monument, the colors of the rival town waving proudly, and who could forget the mock funeral processions? A solemn march down the street, only to reveal a coffin filled with nothing but the other town's mascot. Each prank was a testament to the town's creativity, their sense of humor, and their dedication to the game. They were constantly trying to up the ante, to outdo the other, to claim the title of the best pranksters. With each new stunt, the two towns were trying to outwit and outdo each other, all in good fun. But here's the twist. Beneath this prank war and rivalry, there was a deep-seated friendship. Yes, you heard right. The townsfolk of Greensburg and Mount Pleasant despite their prank rivalry, were firm friends. Their playful feud was a heartwarming testament to the ties that bound these neighboring towns together. You see, these pranks were not just about outdoing each other, they were a way to lighten up the mood, to bring a little amusement to their everyday lives. They were a testament to the camaraderie that can underlie even the most elaborate pranks and rivalries. These pranks weren't just pranks, they were a shared tradition, a common language of laughter and good-natured rivalry that brought them closer. It was their unique way of saying, we're in this together, let's have a little fun along the way. In the end, it was about more than just a prank war. It was about friendship, community, and the joy of shared laughter. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.